thing. What do you mean, Dad? <laughs> hey, you, Dry County. Let's get wasted. Hey, have you seen Sophie? I'm, I'm looking for. Ah, oh, it's our brave fucking pilgrim. Been looking for you. Drink up. Cheers. Sorry, but I don't like drinking straight from the bottle. Ooh, the exalted count asks for a glass. Hey, did you get your radio checked by that dumbass Alberto? <laughs> that kook. Can't ever finish a sentence he starts. <laughs> Must have a brain made of Swiss cheese. Show some respect, Humphrey. Alberto's a genius with weapons and armor. What's your big skill? Farting into a harmonica and calling it music? Hey, you mangy pricks! Say your prayers. Barney's coming! And he's gonna kick your dairy ears. I'll rip out your brains! Then your hearts! Uh, uh, Humphrey? Uh, that's what murderers get? Good! That's what murderers get! Just the this! You're a goddamn. I'm looking for Sophie. Where'd she go? Said she had important business to attend to. But you can wait here with us. If you came to find out if I have a boyfriend, I don't. Which doesn't mean you have the slightest chance with me. Because you don't. If you think I was interested in whether you have a boyfriend, I wasn't. Which doesn't mean if you change your mind about my chances, I'll change my mind too. Fine. What brings you? You take care of Barney today? That guy is like a neon sign that reads Big Trouble. Right. better for the world when you're quiet. Have you seen Sophie? Sophie? Uh, yes, she went. She said, uh, she went that way. Exactly. Thanks. Wait. There's more. One more thing. Something's wrong with uh, not working with the. Uh, it's broken. That ah. Uh, Oh. Dad's asking if there's something wrong with your radio? Oh, uh, it hisses sometimes, but as long as it works, no point messing with it. Um, can I ask you a question? Sure. Call me Aiden. Vincenzo. Uh, Aiden? How do you become a pilgrim? Does that mean you're a murderer? Vincenzo! Why? What do you... Why would you... Dad, I'm asking because I'm curious. Will you tell me, Aiden? I'm not that exciting. I've had to kill people, but I'm not a murderer. All being a pilgrim is to me now is a means to an end. To what end? Vincenzo, leave him alone! To find the only family I've ever known. Did you? Not yet. But I might be close. I hope you succeed. I've never found Federico. Who? Federico. He was my best friend. We were like brothers. We'd known each other forever. He disappeared like the other kids. 
because of those fucking tests. Tests? But you mean GRE tests? You heard that when they built the walls, they were trying to create a vaccine here? It all fell apart in a couple of weeks. One day, Federico vanished into thin air. We'd been playing football. I went to my house after that. He went home too. And I never saw him again. I'm sure they took him. And that's not all. You see, he wasn't the only child who went missing that winter. There were others? Two girls disappeared from the building next door at the same time. And more, all across the city. And none of them have ever been found? No, but based on what Federico's mother said, I have a feeling I know what happened. Federico had been in the hospital a month earlier with pneumonia. His mother was told that some GRE doctor had ordered blood tests, but they wouldn't tell her why. A week after he was released from the hospital, he was gone. Do you remember this doctor's name? No one knew, and no one at the hospital would say. Only that he was on classified GRE business. Then, everything went to hell. The GRE collapsed. After that, some of the kids were sighted in the central loop. But, not Federico. Every day, I wonder what happened to him. I hope he's alive, and that you find him someday. <coughs> you don't stand a chance with me. I'm here. How's your radio? Working now? Sometimes it works, sometimes no. Roll the dice. Susie, Logan! I swear I'll tear them apart and eat the pieces! Bertie! Ralph! <coughs> to your health! I love you. What now? Do you remember the beginning of the fall, Aiden? <laughs> Vaguely. I remember it as if it were yesterday. We had been defending the church against infected for some time. My mother was in charge. She was losing dozens of people every day. She was keeping everyone alive while I was keeping an eye on Barney. She begged the peacekeepers for help. But they ignored her. Eventually, she was injured. It was dawn. They led me to her. To the roof of the sacristy. She saw me and made me promise to look after my brother. She said it as if she was lending me a car and asking me to have it returned intact. After that, she appointed Carl as her successor, with me at his side. You'll grow up to be a far better leader than Carl, she said. But while the world is burning, people won't listen to someone so young. She was wrong. I've been thinking like that all my life. But not anymore. Now I understand my mother. You have to be ruthless to be a leader. I wasn't ready then. I am now. I think I know what you're talking about. And I know what loss is like. Talking about someone in particular? <laughs> about my sister. I'm sorry. Yeah, maybe you don't have to be. We'll find out. That's why you came to town. For her. Yeah. Sophie, we have to talk. Time to act. The quicker we do this, the less prepared Jack and Joe will be. Aiden. Aiden. And we started on the wrong foot. A sip of courage. Should you be drinking this much before the mission, Barney? Me? <laughs> I got the toughest liver in Philidor. Worry more about yourself, Pilgrim. Where's Sophie? There. On the rooftop. I'm watching you, Pilgrim.
You should take a look at that. Apparently the peacekeepers are watching us. Well, let them see what happens to Jack and Joe, and that we can do it to them too. <sighs> well, you said it was time to act. We're acting. I sent three scouts towards the camp. Carl and the crystals must be somewhere inside the building. Not many guards. Most are probably asleep. There are a few entrances to the camp. The front one, suicide. It's got the most guards. You go in first, we'll move in from the other side. And then we'll catch them in a pincer movement. If anything goes wrong, we retreat to our base. Where? The Tango Motel.
this weather blows. <laughs> <laughs> Got an intruder. You dumb motherfucker.
me a shot. Just one shot. has happened by. There's something there. Wait now. What the hell is that? Nothing over here. This ain't gonna end well for you, asshole! <laughs> <laughs> Jackass. Ah! <laughs> 
Jack and Joe will pay in spades Bravo, for Bravo, Pilgrim. Him. The Greenwood family, any time of day. Remember, Pilgrim. Greenwood. Pilgrim. Where's everyone else? They were attacked. Where are the crystals? Over there. Radio Sophie. Fast. Sophie? I have Carl. He's okay. What about you guys? Sophie? Sophie? Are you there? You have to help the Maiden. Where's Jack and Joe? They fled the camp as soon as they heard the sound of fighting. I don't know what they're planning. They said they were waiting on backup. What backup? I don't know exactly. Joe was talking about the Renegades. Remnants of the old army. Stationed on the dam across town. Lately, they've been spotted at the bazaar. Where should I go? Tango Motel. Sophie's hideout is there. Run! Fast! Go now. No time to waste. Fuck me. People will always complain. Jack and Joe's little village. That's not all, Hakon. Sophie and Barney's hideout was attacked. It could be peacekeepers. Fuck. Remember what you're here for, Aiden. We were supposed to get into the central loop and not get involved in local conflicts. Don't get involved in this. Go back to the metro. 
We will share what we have with Aitor, and maybe he will let us pass. I have to go, Hakon. I promised to help Sophie. Besides, that's the only way to get to the truth. Okay. I'll be in touch. Sophie! Guardy! You there? Sophie? God, Sophie, report in! Sophie! What the hell is going on? Report in! This is Aiden. Your men are dead. Oh, shit. Oh, damn it, Aiden. I was actually starting to like you. You brought the peacekeepers here. I helped you. You betrayed us. And now we have to kill you. Helped Aitor and yourself. Helping us was just a byproduct. What are you waiting for? Don't know what to do? My Barney! Barney, wait! Can you hack it? Give this a try! Assholes. No mercy. 
Figures. Looking for Sophie. Sophie. Damn it! This isn't about you, Herman. Get out of my way. Kid. Where'd you come from? I've got a sixth sense, kid. I knew you were gonna get in trouble. Barney wanted to kill you. Means he has something to hide. Something about Lucas, or worse. What do you mean? The murder of the commander. Now the takeover of the water tower. That's no coincidence, Aiden. Barney has long been looking to get out from behind his sister's shadow and rid Villador of the peacekeepers himself. I'll try to find him. Be careful. I'll go warn Eto. Let's keep in touch. Barney? Come out! Come on, man! I will find you! Nicely, I'll shoot you in the head. 
And if not, you'll spend a long time dying until you turn. So, you'll be the one dying, Barney. You're supposed to stop him, not kill him. Give me the weapon. Give it to me, brother. <sighs> Hope you know what you're doing. So this is the thanks I get for helping? Death is how we thank traitors. You didn't say you were working for Aiden. I don't work for Aiden, I work for myself. No one can remain neutral in this, Aiden. We're fighting for survival. Without water, the whole bazaar will die in under a month. And the peacekeepers, they won't help us. Just like when my mother died. They just sat and watched us die. Turns out, you're one of them. You don't care about us. Tell me, why should I not kill you? Sophie, shoot! What are you waiting for? You can try, but I don't think you will. Tell me who killed Lucas. The Morn thinks we did it. Waste of time. Shoot. This is your last chance, Sophie. Tell me who killed Lucas before I break down this door. I could kill you right here and now. But for now, you're more used to me alive than dead. We'll see how much longer that lasts. Aider, you were right. Sophie and Barney were gonna kill me. I got a message from Hakon. Glad you made it through in one piece. Let's meet in my quarters in the Metro. We'll talk about what comes next. Okay. into one of those things, man. Thanks. I really didn't want to sign like that. We were born smelly, and we'll die smelly. Oh, you're always so <coughs> negative about things, Naira. Because you don't understand me. No. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Have you noticed how much everyone loves Luke? And yeah, yeah. Good. You were right. It was a trap. Yeah, it looks like you were getting close to the truth. Either they killed Lucas, or they know who did. We'll force them to talk. How will you do that? By taking control of the water tower. Jack and Joe took off somewhere. Only stragglers left in the tower at best. This is the only source of water in the area. And whoever controls the water, controls old Villador. So you'll take it by force? I could. With the bandits gone, the bazaar will station guards at the tower. At the first sight of the PK, there'll be an immediate clash of forces. <sighs> well, I don't want to give them an excuse for war. However, if someone took over the tower quietly, it would be a fait accompli. <sighs> so you want me to sneak in there? Yes. And disarm the charges left by Jack and Joe. Take out whoever's left up there. But be careful. The tower's the tallest structure in the area. The only way up was cut off. I can try. Seems like the only option right now. All right. Go for it. If you pull it off, we'll gain massive leverage for the bazaar to tell us who the killer was. <laughs> 